Hi, Bill Lanting, America's allergist. So when we're talking about different asthma medications, the second line of therapy after inhaled steroids are long-acting beta agonists, or LABAs. In English, what does that mean? Well, you all know albuterol. That's that quick-acting puffer that makes you open up real quick, right? And again, the main chemical, albuterol, okay? Uh, so the dilation action from that is good for two, three, four hours. So long-acting dilators, they last 12 to 14 hours, which is why they're usually twice a day. What they do is they go to the same receptors, that quick actor, but they have a long tail, and so they hang out longer. Again, so it's the same molecule sort of, and it goes to the same receptor and does the same thing. It just lasts a lot longer. So there are two uh, in the United States that we have available. One is Fordil from Moderol, and the other is Cervant or Salmeterol, and they can be used alone or with in a combination inhaler. Okay, now one big thing, never to be used alone, okay, at least for asthma. For COPD, emphysema, that's another story, but for asthma, never alone. They always have to be used with inhaled steroid because they work better there, but actually, if you only use them alone, you could die. It could kill you. So remember, don't use them alone, all right? But again, good compounds that are either added into your inhaled steroid, again, in one of the three combination inhalers. Uh, they're pretty much side effect free. Some people maybe get a little jittery. Uh, some people actually maybe get uh, some leg cramps or stuff like that. Obviously, if these occur, talk to your doc, see if it really is the med, and maybe try the other one and see if that does the same thing. So again, long-acting beta agonists, long-acting dilators, good secondary therapy in your asthma. Bill Lanting, America's Algist. Take care.